to another edition of How to Pass the Math FSA 3rd Grade. Today our standard is maths.3.md.4.8 where we will finally uncover the glory of perimeter and area. So real world perimeter and area application. Again, before we begin, remember that the perimeter is determining the length of the border, so you might have to add up all the sides, and the area is uncovering whatever is being covered in there. So you can count up the squares for area, you can um, multiply the length times the width, or you can add all of the boxes. So let me teach ya. Example one. Carly has a bulletin board with side lengths of four feet and six feet. Six feet. What is the perimeter in feet of the bulletin board? So if you haven't seen a bulletin board, then you've never been to school before. Or you've, you've seen a bulletin board. It's the thing that people post like paper up on, or teachers will sometimes decorate this little board they have outside of their classrooms. That is a bulletin board for those who don't know. So four feet and six feet. What is the perimeter? Listen, we've been working a lot with area in the past couple episodes. Don't get confused. Perimeter is different. You are finding the total when you add up all the sides or the border. So what do we know about rectangles? We know that whatever this side is, the opposite side will be the same. So if that's four feet, this will be four feet. And if this is six feet, then the opposite side will also be six feet. That is something that you need to know really important about rectangles. So now we just add them all up. Four plus four is eight. Six plus six is 12. Add them up, we get 20. And we drop the square, the perimeter. We're just adding, we're not multiplying, so we don't have to square it. It's just 20 feet. Love perimeter. Okay, folks, here's example two. And just a reminder that you can access this problem and download it by clicking the link below in the description box. That will take you to a place where you can download the entire complete guide to how to pass the FSA third grade edition um, you'll get this problem along with two extra problems just like it um, for every single standard. So it'll be good. It's good practice for you to pass. All right, so click on the link. If you don't want to click on the link, then pay attention, but you'll be able to interact with the problems better if you have the same tools that I am using. So a model of Ricky's closet is shown. Here's where it is shown. I'm just going to bold it out in green a little bit to make it look a little bit better where you can see it. All right, so there we go. Draw a rectangle over here, a rectangle with the same area as Ricky's closet, but a different perimeter. Okay, well, first let's determine what the area and the perimeter are of Ricky's closet. Then I'm gonna draw something over here that answers the problem. So the area would be the length times the width, three, it says square units. Okay, three square units, and then four square units. So three times four equals 12 square units. And the perimeter would be if this side is three, then this side is three. If this side is four, then that's four. Four plus four is eight. Three plus three is six. Eight plus six equals 14. So I need to draw a rectangle over here that has the same area, which would be 12, but a different perimeter. So I'm thinking about drawing a six going down by two. Let me see if that works. And I would do this in pencil just to make sure, um, but here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay. So there's six by two, 
which would be the same area. Let me see if it's a different perimeter. If this side is 6, then this side is 6. If this side is 2, then that side is 2. 6 plus 6 is 12. 2 plus 2 is 4. 12 plus 4 equals 16, which is a different perimeter. So this would work. You could also draw a 1 by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so all the way. You could have done this, and that would have been a different perimeter too than that, because that would have been 12 plus 12, which is 24, plus 2 is 26. That would have been a different perimeter too. You could have also taken these two rectangles and flipped them um, so that they were 2 by 6 and 1 by 12. You get the point. All right, I'm talking too much. All right, I'm already out of breath. Example 3. Carlos is building a rectangular deck in his backyard. Rectangular deck in his backyard. Which measurement describes the perimeter of his deck? So that would be finding the border, the outside. The length of railing he will need around his deck. Well, if he's putting railing up, he would be adding them all up, so yes. The amount of wood planks that he needs to buy, that would be covering the area in here. This is the area, so that would be wrong. The number of nails he will buy, no. The length of his deck multiplied by the width, again that would be determining the area. So those are wrong. The correct answer is finding the railing. All right, math home fries. This is our last example for today uh, for the standard. It's example four, and it is a multi-select. How do I know? Because the very first two words give it away. Select all. Select all of the dimensions of a rectangle that would have a perimeter of 30 inches. Perimeter. So we have rectangles. With that. So here's my rectangle. We need a perimeter of 30 inches. So if we had 2 inches by 13, that would be 2 here and 13 there. So 13 plus 13 is 26. 2 plus 2 is 4. And that would be 30. So this is a correct answer. But I'm not finished. Let's try another one. 10 by 20. That mean 20 here, 10 here, reset. 20 plus 20 is 40. 10 plus 10 is 20, and you already know that it, that is way too high. That is 60 inches, so that's not going to work. To show that I've thought about B, I've put an X there to eliminate it. 5 inches by 6 inches. So 5 this side, 5 this side, 6 this side, 6 this side, 12. 6 plus 6 is 12. 5 plus 5 is 10. That would be 22. Not enough. I need 30. Reset. Okay. 5 by 10. Seeing a pattern here. 10 plus 10. 5 and 5, that would be 20 plus 10, which is 30. That's right. But I am not yet finished. One more. Do you see how I drew this visual here just to help me understand it? Instead of trying to think it all out in my brain, I put it on paper too to make it make sense. Alright, 15 plus 15 is 30. 15 plus 15 is 30, and you know where this is heading. That's 60. That's too much. A and D are your answers. And remember, for multi-select questions, you must select all of the correct answers in order to receive credit. You will not receive partial credit for these, so make sure that you get them all right. YouTubers, time for motivational moment with Ms. McCarthy. That's what I should call it, Motivational Moment with Ms. McCarthy. 
Uh, but this motivational quote comes from Ellen DeGeneres, who is awesome. Um, her famous one is, be kind to one another, but I was researching and I saw this one. Courage is doing something in spite of the fact that you're scared of it. So take some risks. If you're scared, that might be a good sign that you're on the right track to success. And it will feel so good when you take that chance and you overcome that obstacle. So boom, do it.